The world of professional gaming, or as we like to call it esports, is a captivating realm of competition, strategy, and adrenaline. There are countless games out there, but only a handful have what it takes to make it big in the world of esports. Among these games, Apex Legends stands out as one of the most exhilarating and fiercely competitive titles. For three years, the Apex Legends Global Series has been a source of excitement and anticipation. As you may know, the championship of year 3 is right around the corner. Players are ready to compete and fans are anxiously counting down the days, not only for the intense games but also to rally behind their favorite teams. Well, at every esports event, players are undoubtedly the stars of the show. But it's time to shine a light on another essential aspect. Behind every thrilling match and heart-pounding battle, there's a crucial group of talents that elevate the entire experience, the commentators. Today, we are stepping into the other side of esports events, the world of esports commentary, with a special focus on ALGS and one of its brightest stars, Vicky Kitty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the story of Vicky Kitty. The Skull Piercer, the 30-30, the 1-2 Scooby-Doo here, finding even more kills. Sure, give it to me on a silver platter. I'll get all the knocks here. If you're E6, you're out. North Action, they're not even gonna move out here. Suzuki, knowing that's the final squad, jumps down, but a little too early. He's got some help for the rest of his team. Having to be careful. Look out! Who's hiding behind that Yukas wall? Who's hiding behind the fence line? North Action still has raise, still up and alive, and it's just a matter of time before they take this final game here. Playing off the other side of the Newcastle wall, having to be careful. I like the way that Yuka could do this! And see the destroy with Yuka being the only one alive! Victoria Perez, known as Vicky Kitty, was born in Miami, Florida on April 6, 1996. She started gaming at early age. Vicky's dad was playing CSGO, and while she wasn't allowed to play the game since she was only a little kid, she used to sneak on her dad's PC and play CSGO. Funny enough, the first game I picked up was uh, Counter-Strike. I was like three years old. I guess that was it's kind of what sparked my competitive nature, just being the best. I always thought I was pretty good at it, so I would kind of like sneak on there because I wasn't allowed to play the game, you know, guns yeah. and stuff like that. I'm like a little kid. Just like many of us, she spent her childhood devouring games, probably a bit more than her parents would have liked. But who can blame her? During her childhood, her favorite game was Smash Bros. She didn't have any siblings, but still she would enjoy the CPU fights. And it was both incredibly entertaining and challenging for her. Uh, what? Have to pick one? I'm gonna have to say Smash. I'm gonna have to say Smash because it's, it's my childhood. But Vicky Kitty's interests extend beyond gaming. She had a passion for theater, a seemingly unrelated world that added depth to her storytelling abilities. During her journey, one thing that remained constant was her love for Nintendo. Vicky Kitty wasn't just any gamer, she was a fierce competitor. May 2015 rolled around and she took her Smash Bros skills to local tournaments. What's interesting is that she had no idea there was a competitive scene for Smash Bros. For the first time when she stepped into local versus gaming center, she instantly knew a door has been opened up to her. She was ready to give it her all. But it wasn't all about victories. Challenges were her constant companions. Yet every loss only fueled her determination to come back stronger, smarter, and more prepared. Her journey wasn't just about playing the game. It was about dissecting every move, every strategy, and every heart-pounding moment. Those hours spent honing her skills weren't just about getting better. They were about discovering a new path to become a commentator. Oh, he gets the beamish though. The hip already connected, but it's up to Nocturnal to clutch that for action. He sits at the man advantage, and they win game number seven. There's a cool story behind her transition from player to commentator. It wasn't just a shift in role. It was a leap into a whole new world, from battling it out on the screen to narrating the battles. Vicky's commentary journey was a wild ride. During her competitive journey, she was getting all the support she needed from her friends, friends that she made at the same local gaming center. Speaking of friends, one person stood out, Daniel Koch. He wasn't just a friend, he was her guiding star. Daniel was a commentator for local tournaments, and eventually he convinced Vicky to set up to the mic around October 2015. Our tournament organizer at the event was like, hey Vicky, come on, come in, come in the Tia room and like commentate with me. I was like, yeah, I, I guess. Like, I mean, I kind of saw it as watching the projector that was currently in the land center and just the way I would discuss it with my friends around me just yeah. on, you know, in a seat with a camera on. So I got amazing feedback and I, I honestly had a lot of fun with it. Hours turned into days as she honed her commentary skills and became a fixture in the gaming center. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. Those countless hours she poured into mastering the art of commentary, it's what makes her voice as thrilling as the games themselves. Of course, she was crushing it, but as she got into bigger tournaments, she 
realized that she's not perfect and she needs to level up her skills. She was very open about it and always looked forward for a good criticism. Her dedication extended beyond the virtual world. Victoria graduated from Florida International University with a degree in mass communication and media broadcast, proving that she possesses not only a passion for gaming, but also the knowledge and skills to excel in her field. About her name, Vicky Kitty is not just a quirky gaming tag, there's a story behind it. It all started with a friendly Call of Duty pet, Vicky Kitty and another player, Mr. Fuzzy Kitty, squaring off in a game duel. The stakes were high and, well, Victoria ended up with a new gaming clan and an unforgettable nickname that's been her badge of honor ever since. Um, I was very big on Call of Duty, actually, for a long time. That's actually where I got my tag from, I lost the bet to a, a, a player who their name was uh, Mr. Fuzzy Kitty, and he said that, you know, if I beat you in this quickscope match, 1v1, classic quickscope match on uh, on Rust, you have to join my clan. I was like, haha, all right, man, and yeah. I lost, and I stuck to it, and it's been over like 15 years now, and I, I'm still with it. Vicky Kitty, the gamer, the theater lover, the Nintendo enthusiast, is the one who turned a Call of Duty bet into a legacy. That was huge! What a gravity lift to get behind him on the flank, get the hit fire shot, and he beats the next player! Two as they drop, North Action looking to make the comeback, looking to take another step out here, and they come out! Her journey doesn't end there. Vicky Kitty's destiny was tangled with Apex Legends and the ALGS events. Apex Legends holds a special place in her heart, just like most of us. Apex. <laughs> <It completely, laughs> I completely negated all my logic out the window. It's not just a game, it's a realm of boundless excitement and untamed possibilities. Since 2021, Vicky Kitty has been gracing the ALGS events with her electrifying commentary. Think about it. She's not just talking about the games, she is a part of the ALGS story, adding her unique touch to every epic moment. I have the high ground now, Singularity says! Elysium punching him into the circle! Gets it again! Moist win! Singularity's advantage on the high ground does not come in clutch! It's Moist and their positioning! Wrapping around, getting game number three! Vicky Kitty's commentary at ALGS makes those intense battles even more exciting. She is a legend at ALGS, and personally, I'm counting down days for watching the championship. Not only for those amazing games, but also for the amazing commentary these guys provide, especially Vicky Kitty. This is my high ground now as Imperial Hal puts down the flag on top of the roof. He's gonna try to waver off They the all do an amazing I'm job, but for today, Spotlight is on Vicky Kitty. She brushes a rainbow in every battle and every match with her unique and amazing commentary. Shout out to Victoria Prez, aka Vicky Kitty for bringing us more fun and excitement during every ALGS event. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. This was Vicky Kitty's story as a commentator. Give this video a like and comment your thoughts down below. Who knows, maybe Vicky Kitty one day watches this video and sees them. Also, you could suggest the next commentator for the next video. Eventually, I'll talk about all of them as they deserve the spotlight and a shout out for their hard work. But you will decide who is the next. So comment it down below. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. Peace out, Professor Moe.